Good morning, morning, everybody. I wanted to do a update on my review for the heart mower. Um, I can't remember the 100% name of it right now. And yes, I'm quite frustrated. I am doing this after having this month. I'm doing this review after having this uh, mower for quite some time. You can look back on my last video and you can see how long I've had this mower. And so you can understand my frustration when I make this video. I'm posting this video right away, raw, and as I am extremely pissed off. Um, this mower has caused me nothing but problems. This mower will be my lesson learned from fooling with Walmart and special um, items that you need for your household like this. Um, I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now. This is the mower. This is the mower. Okay, guys. I want to show you guys my yard. I don't know if I can do that and switch around. No, I can't. Okay. So, I'm going to walk and show you guys my yard. It's um it's what you call uh fall here in Florida. So, the grass turns colors cuz it's dying, dying off. You can see how far I've gotten with my mower um i only started about right there this morning with three count that three different batteries one comes with the mower and i bought two extras okay you can look at this grass this grass is not too thick okay but when i tell you this mower cannot take it if you cut your grass while it's this like this thin you might have a good chance but if you wait like two weeks to cut your grass and remember I put weed and feed down every few months every quarter in my yard so my grass does grow very well but my point being this hard mower can't take that so you and I, I'm, I'm thinking because I spent quite a bit of money $400 then you add the extra two batteries which was I think about sixty seventy dollars a piece so I've purchased a lot you know I have to let these batteries charge up uh, um, uh, fully charged before I can even attempt to try to do my yard now the blower the edger I have no issue with the edger it is just aggravating because it feeds um, it feeds the thread or whatever you call it too much, but I can deal with that and I don't mind buying extra, but this mower is a no go. Take your butt to Lowe's. I posted it on my Facebook. I'm going to see if I can post it in my group, um, my Facebook group, which I can't remember the name of right now. I think it's, um, sunshine 34 or something like that. Um, I'll actually go in the house and look really quick. Um, this is not what you want. This is not what you want. This, uh, this mower, you need to be able to get out in your yard, take care of business and get back in the inside. Okay, guys, I went inside to actually see what my Facebook page was. It is, um, Miss MS Sunshine 34. So that's Miss Sunshine 34. Um, you can find me that way and uh, follow that Facebook page. I'm going to start um, oh, posting in there and uploading in there, um, uploading on here more. But anyway, I'm rambling. Back to the mower. This mower, it means you no good. I'm going to post um, my picture that I posted on my personal page in that group. So, like, maybe you can see I started at the front of my yard and didn't get far at all before the mower just gave out like the battery's completely dead you need to be able to take care of your yard in one go you know um i am <clears throat> sad to admit i'm going back to a gas mower 
the thing is you guys gas um, um mowers period are expensive you, to get a good mower you're gonna pay some some hundreds of dollars you're not gonna pay just um just a couple of dollars and think you're gonna get a lawnmower i i started this thing out by getting um a mower that I got out of a yard sale. It didn't work. My neighbor had to clean the carburetor out on it and it still didn't work. Uh, it only worked for a little while after he did that. But I'm telling you guys, like you're going to have to invest. When you're a homeowner, you have to invest in things. And I thought I did right by investing for over $400 into this mower out of Walmart. I regret my my decision and can't even take it back. Please know if you get something like this from Walmart and you don't have the box, I, and you can tell how long I've had this mower um, compared to, you know, I threw the box away after a while. You know, I keep boxes, you know, for things um, um, to return them just in case, like printers and, you know, um, um, what do you call it, uh, vacuum cleaners, things like that. But if you don't have the box, you cannot return this mower. So, of course, I recently threw the box away a couple of months ago, and I can't return the mower. So, I'm stuck with this $400, $500 dango investment, and I have to mow my yard in sittings now. I have to, I can't mow it and just get out here and mow. You know, I have other things I need to do for the day, but we can't do that with our yard. Also, this mower stopped working. I don't know if you guys can see. Can you see these? Yes. All right. These were not all the way clicked in. And this railing had was pushed down some. I, I'm not sure how that happened. But my mower didn't work. My mower didn't work for like two months. I couldn't figure out what the heck was wrong with this mower. It would not work. It would not crank up. It would. I thought it was the batteries. I was getting ready to invest in another battery. Thank God I didn't. I had my friend come over. He looked at it and boom, he pulled that thing up and it worked like a charm. But when you need to mow your entire yard and that's off of three batteries, I still... This is the next day. I started mowing this yard yesterday. I still can't finish my yard. I have to charge the batteries up, which they are charging now. So I have to wait a couple hours for the batteries to charge fully and then come back out here and do this again. So I know I'm rambling. This is a long video, but I'm mad. I am mad. But as a homeowner, this is something that you have to deal with. <sighs> things mess up and guess what there's nobody there's nobody i can call you guys when you have a home of your own and you have something tear up there's nothing you there's nobody you can call call jesus and that's it because when these things don't work right here when they're out you're out so if i i could invest in another battery but i'm not giving this any more of my money because anytime i try to mow it still cuts off on me and i have to lift it up and keep going you know like you normally have to do but you guys i'm upset i'm mad and i'm just i'm uploading this as is and I'm very frustrated because I've been looking at another mower, but guess what? Out of um, Lowe's, that's another $300. Who has that to spare? So, you know, um, I want my yard all cute and pretty, you know. Um, I've got Halloween decorations up. I, wanna, I want it to be nice looking like, you know, my neighbor's yards are. But I have to, it takes two, three days to get a, a yard mowed because I also have to work. So... Point blank, do not buy a lawnmower out of Walmart thinking that you're getting something because you're not. It's not worth your investment. Go to Lowe's, go to Home Depot, and get a credible, a credible mower. That's all I got, you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.